All right, so today we're going to do a quick overview of um, what we're going to be focusing on in this unit. So just like I talked about earlier, we are focusing on a single element. In this specific unit, we are going to get to really know line and all that it can do and all the things it can, can communicate. So to start, what is line? Line is an element of art, as we know, but the way that I like to describe it is it is a path created by a point moving in space. It's one-dimensional and can vary in width, direction, and length. It can also be curvy, zigzag, or even wavy, and it can communicate things like emotions or a story in the most simple way. So I wanted you guys to take a look at these Picasso drawings. These are by the famous artist Pablo Picasso. And what I wanted you to notice is the amount of detail that he was able to communicate with the simple use of line. What's interesting is that these are some of his most well-known drawings, not paintings, um, and they have been used for years and years. So, for example, the dove on the, on the right is a really awesome example of something that has grown to become really well-known. You'll see this throughout um, bumper stickers and posters and all different things as a symbol for peace. And the thing that I wanted you to notice about the woman in the middle is the fact that Picasso used line to communicate something as complex as a human face, but he also left some details out, but that doesn't take away from the story. So notice how even though we don't see her ear or the edge of her left elbow, we still understand exactly what this picture is showing because of his use of line. So as we talk about line, the type of drawings that we're going to focus on are what we call contour line drawings. So what's a contour line? In the world of art, a contour line is a line which defines a form or an edge. So it's basically an outline of a given object or figure. So take a look at the woman in the middle. We are able to understand that her, her face has form, that she has detail, but it's really only using line to show those outer edges or the inside details of the subject. Notice on the dove that we can tell exactly what it is by the way he has used contour line to define edges and outline any sort of surface that the, the dove might have. So contour drawing, there are three different types and we're going to break them down. The first one is contour drawing and it's the edge of something. So contour drawing never uses shading to show value and contour drawings use line to show the edges of an object. Contour was originally a French word meaning circumference or outline. A regular contour line drawing is simply drawing the outline or edges of the subject. No shading at all, just line. But notice how the artist on the left, using just the contour drawing, has all the detail and all of those things that we can see and we can understand exactly what we're looking at. So the contour drawing approach is the, most com the more complex but also the most detailed. But notice that you're still just using outlines, no shading. The next one is a continuous contour drawing. So the difference between a continuous contour drawing and a regular contour drawing is just that. It's continuous. It is a single line. So continuous means to keep going without stopping. And a continuous contour drawing means drawing a picture without picking up your pencil from the paper. The drawing will be made of one single line and we will draw the outlines or contours of the object. So notice the hand on the left. There is a starting point and a finish point. Just like we did on our Ozobot races, you had a starting dot and an ending dot and continued with one long line. These are going to be challenging, but they're also really fun. The final type of contour drawing we're going to talk about is a blind contour drawing. Now listen carefully because this can get a little confusing, but a blind contour drawing means to draw the outline of the subject without looking at the paper while you're doing it. So you are keeping your focus on the subject and you are not looking at what your paper is, looks like as you're drawing. So a few tips are don't peek once you start doing the blind contour drawing. Don't look at your paper, just look at the subject. Don't overthink it, just draw. That's right, turn off your brain. Instead of thinking, I'm drawing a leaf, I'm drawing a leaf, note the lines and the angles and the curves of what's in front of you. Remember, it's an opportunity to train your eyes and hands and don't let your brain get in the way or don't overthink it. Draw slowly. You are noticing all of the details of the edges. Move your eye slowly along the object and draw each detail that you see. And keep your pen or pencil down. It helps if you don't lift it up. This way you won't lose your place and you'll be able to keep up with where you are. And last but not least, but probably the most important, as we work through this process, it's okay to laugh at yourself. 
Your drawings might look silly, but everyone's, everyone else's will too. And it's okay. It's all part of the process. So why do we do this? Especially with a blind contour line drawing, it practices hand-eye coordination, which is important when learning to draw. It improves observational skills, and which means drawing what you see. Observational drawing is drawing what you see. So you observe something and then you draw it. They also help you begin seeing all the details we might be missing. So again, as we go back up to these tips and tricks, things to remember. When I'm drawing a blind contour line drawing, I like to have my eye guide my pencil. So I like to follow the edges of my subject and keep my, eye, my pen in my hand in pace with my eyes. So you're going to start your own contour line stations and I'm excited to see what you guys learn.